Oh wow, it, it cycles the clip when you pull the slide forward. Gee, it's like double action. Hello guys, thanks for joining Backyard Blasters, where we look at blasters for the backyard. Um, I'm, I'm Flint, for those that haven't um, watched any videos on the channel before, and um, that's what I do, I review you know, toy guns, blasters, water pistols, um, you name it, any type of toy gun. It, it doesn't even have to be a toy gun in particular, it can be gun keychains, anything to do with guns. We, we look at it here, or I, I look at it here. So today we're looking at the Ruckus, 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 ICS-8. This is a clip-fed Nerf gun, and um, going by the name, Internal Clip System 8. They always, they, they abbreviate something, so it's like when you had the Nerf CS, that was Clip System, ICS, maybe that means internal. Um, I don't know what else it means, but if I'm wrong, or, you know, let me know in the comments below. Age, EDAD, 8 plus, EDAD. What language is that? Hmm, well, it's saying it's for 8 years plus, 8 years up. Now, I've got 8 elite darts included, and 8 capacity. Now, for those that haven't seen my review of the X-Shot, Zuru X-Shot Swarm Seeker, it is a clip-fed pistol, um, which is a lot, well, it's like this, except it's fed from the side instead of from the top. It's, it's vertically fed, whereas this is horizontal. If you're interested in seeing other clip-fed blasters, that's one that I have done, so I'll post a link to that one in the description. Now, here it is in the box. So, we've got a little chap here holding the blaster. Nerf dart on the way out. Eight darts, they must be in that little box. Here's the blaster, the Nerf logo. It's got, it's the dark blue colour, it's pretty cool, I like the, the dark blue. From the End Strike Elite line. Picture here of the um, clip moving. Whoa, bit of weight to this thing, man. And um, for those wondering, the clips are what what feed. That's a, that's a hard one for me to describe, but the magazines are different because they go up into a mag well. Clip is what you would call this, a clip. Whereas most people would refer to the other types of magazines. This is what you'd refer to as a clip. So I'm going to try and remember to refer to it as a clip in the video. On the back of the box, I've got a little diagram here. Step one, two, three, loading the clip, racking it and then firing it. Pump action blasting, so it's primed from the top. On the slide there, a dart. Indexing clip. Indexing, that's it. I, not internal, so indexing clip system. Indexing. Right. Oh, and the description, of course, Ruckus ICS-8. Load and fire fast with the indexing clip and pump action blasting. Oh, is that it? Well, that's not much of a description. I mean, that usually they give a nice paragraph. That's like, like a sentence. Like a, almost like a subtitle. Oh, well. Easy front loading. And the eight, eight elite darts. Warning for children under three years. Um, on the side of the box, the other side, and on the bottom, nerf.com, nerf, and then nerf, or endstrike elite. Or maybe if there's instructions, maybe they will give us a bit more of a description about the blaster. Oh well, unless the instructions are tucked in under here, there are no instructions. Besides what's on the box. But I mean, it's a simple blaster by the looks, so... Um, probably don't need instructions. So, foam darts. Let's go ahead. Oh, 
hidden. Yeah, those are. Ah, uh, you can't remove the clip. That's a shame. It's fixed. Well, that's no fun, Nerf. And if you saw my review of that, as I mentioned before, the X-Shot Zuru Swarm Seeker, you can remove that clip. You can't remove this one. Oh well. Oh wow, it, it cycles the clip when you pull the slide forward. Gee, it's like double action. You have to pull it back to load it, and then you have to pull it forward to cycle it. Well, that's interesting. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and load it up. It's a bit loud as well when it cycles. Okay, so we'll go over the features of the blaster. So you can move it back and forth freely. You just can't pull the whole clip out. So we'll look oh, on this side. So your hand grip here. There is a point here where you can attach a sling or a bandolier. That That's handy. Got a big cut out there so you can clip quite a Put quite a big clip on there. Handle fits comfortably for me. Might be a bit small for some people. Um, elite. Elite there, Nerf. The priming handle or the slide. Ruckus ICS 8. Front iron sight and no rear iron sight. You can't put a stock on, you can't put a barrel attachment on. No tactical rail, and there are restrictors in the back here, and there's most likely restrictors in the blaster as well. I wonder how complicated this is to mod, because it, I don't know, I don't know what they look like on the inside, it feels a bit heavy, it's quite big as well, so I don't know if, there's, if it's complicated, but I guess I'll find that out when I modify it, which I do plan on doing. Um, There'll be a video, there'll be a video for that too. So uh, let's go ahead and give this a shooting test. Now can we slam fire? I think we can, but I'm out of darts. Right. Let me try that again. Quickly try the slam fire. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's performing pretty well. What range did it claim? Actually, I didn't see one on here, and it looks like there is not a range. They have not, they have not stated how far it will shoot. That is odd. I have not seen that on a Nerf package. Well, that is the first time I haven't seen uh, the range on a Nerf pa package. Wow. Okay. I mean, their their claims are always far and in between with Nerf. Not like other brands, I mean, Busby and Zuru Shot, X Shot are pretty honest, but Nerf was, some of their range claims were either, or well, usually, much larger than what it actually was. But no range claim on that box. Well, that completes the Ruckus ICS 8 review. Range test coming out shortly. Let me know what you guys think of this blaster. Do you like clip-fed blasters? Do you like it when you can remove it or when you can't remove the clip? I mean, I can see that being an advantage if, if you're using it with really young kids because then they're not going to lose parts. And perhaps, I mean, besides that, 
this what it does what this limits you is it means that you can't then reload with another clip you have to physically you know, manually pop them in one by one see if you can remove these and buy other clips then you could just have like carry a bunch more clips around that would be that would be cool but but no that's not the case i'm sure i'm sure we can modify it so that we can remove the clip but then you, we'd still have to go and purchase a heap of the guns again to get more of the clips because I don't think Nerf sell these separately. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. So that's the downside of having a built-in non-removable clip. I think they should have done removable clips. I mean, when I take this apart, if I modify it, I'm not sure how easy that's gonna be, but the clip should just, then it'll come out when you unscrew the whole gun. In terms of screws, it's got no oh, standard amount of screw ports, you know, top, bottom, spaced out pretty evenly, like most Nerf guns. I like that grill feature there too, and this, those little gaps. But it is a sleek, sleek design, I reckon, but it's heavy. Heavy for a, pretty heavy, I reckon. Yeah, a lot of top heaviness there. Now, no priming indicator. You know, some guns, some Nerf guns, or foam dart blasters will actually tell you when they're primed. But this one has no indicator. Anyway, guys, that completes the review today. I'll see you in the next video. There's a place for